Hi, I'm Mike. Fencing is a never-ending project on anyone's ranch, no matter what size you deal with. And today we take a look at a couple of new tools that both promise to help with just that job. The Texas Fence Fixer and these little guys, a somewhat local invention called the Cat's Claw Fasteners. It's all coming up today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you know that here at Our Wyoming Life, we receive emails almost daily about new products and inventions that may benefit the farmer and the rancher? The problem has always been that I'm not a salesman and I'm not here to tell you what product to use or what to buy. Because of that moral dilemma in my own life, I have kind of shied away from taking products that people offer to send us. Until now. I got to thinking that some of those products might actually help us out, both in savings of time and even sometimes in the savings of money. So I made a deal with myself. I said that if there's a product that I want to test, I'll contact the company once. If I don't hear anything from them, maybe I'll go out and buy it myself and test it and see how it might work for all of us. But if I do hear back from a company, I'll make it very clear that I'm not here to sell their product. I, I want to find out how it works on our ranch and how it helps us and how it may in turn help others. You still have the option to take it or leave it, and I refuse to let any company dictate how I test or, or what I have to say about their product. Now that's my promise to you. So with that said, I'm leaving it up to you after this video if you wanna see more of these types of videos yourself. Testing products, showing you how they work and how they can help both of us, both your operation and mine. It's totally up to you. Leave a quick comment, yay or nay, and I'll listen to what you have to say. It's not going to be a daily thing, by the way, or a weekly thing, or maybe even a monthly thing, but I want you to know that it's being left up to you if you want to see it again. So I figured that I would start with a project that's almost constant around here and one that I don't mind doing, but also I wouldn't mind seeing some new or maybe some old technology make things just a little bit easier. That project is fencing. We have over 26 miles of fence on the ranch. And because of that, it's almost a constant project to keep it all up and doing its job. Cows, weather, wild animals, they can all do a number on fences. In areas where animals are, I check fences every chance I get. We have had cows out on the highway, we've had them in neighbors' pastures, and sometimes even in their front yards. But the old saying goes that Good fences make the best neighbors, and that is very true, especially if you want to keep your herd safe, which is what exactly fences do. By keeping our animals where they're supposed to be, they always have access to water and food. They have the safety of the herd, and if a cow gets on the wrong side of the fence, she may not have any of those things. It's because of that that we keep good fences, and one of the biggest problems that we see with barbed wire fencing is the stretching of the wire. Over time, snow drags down fences, animals sometimes get tangled up in it or they drag it down. Whatever may be influencing it, we sure will see fences and the wire start to sag. There are a number of ways to combat this problem, but the main gist is that you have to get the fence tight again. In the past, we've used Jake's wire tighteners. These tighteners were invented in Lee County, Texas by David Franklin Ells, but his friends called him Jake. The concept is pretty simple. It's a clip that fits over a loose piece of wire. The handle is used to turn the clip, winding it around the wire, and then it locks itself by clipping over the wire. These clips have worked great for us on the ranch. I still use them and they can get a little bit expensive though. You buy a bag of them for about 25 bucks, that works out at a cost of $1.25 per repair. Plus you need the handle, which will cost you a one-time fee of about 20 bucks. Like I said, we have a lot of fence. And I started looking a while ago for a cheaper alternative for fixing loose wire. Now we can use a fence tightener, and that's the old fashioned way of doing it, but it can get a little bit awkward and it's not the best alternative. When you're out working by yourself, time becomes a major factor. And as they say, time is money. So I went looking and that's when I found the Texas Fence Fixer. It costs about $90. All you need to tighten the fence is the tool itself and some scrap wire. I use smooth wire, which I can get for about $75 a roll of about 1,300 feet. I need 18 inches for each repair and that one roll will do about 800 repairs. Now we're down to a cost of nine cents for each repair. Roll in the price of the tool and call it 10. And we have enough wire tightening experience for a lifetime, or at least a few years. 
To use the tool is pretty simple. It clamps onto your existing wire, then you use your body to actually tighten the tool. When you get it as tight as you need to, you use the chain to hold it in place. Your scrap piece of wire goes over the existing wire, wraps onto that wire, and then you use a pair of fencing pliers to twist it around and around. There you go. Your fence is tight. Another new tool that we have in the fencing realm this week comes from Miles City, Montana, where Kurt, who worked on a ranch, got tired of replacing the same staples year after year. He knew there had to be a better way and he invented the cat's claw fasteners. Cat's claw fasteners can be used to secure not only wire to posts, but also wire panels. And they're completely reusable and rust-free. They come completely assembled and in buckets of 170 for $55. That's about 32 cents a piece. More expensive, obviously, than staples, but in areas where you're constant, where you have constant pressure or issues with staples popping out, these might be a good addition to your fencing toolbox. Each one is simply installed with a hex driver and the attached two inch screw. They're easier than staples, a lot less hammered fingers or those little barbs jabbing you through your gloves. But for me, the staple won't be replaced by these guys, but I will keep some around for those troublesome spots. So there's something definitely to be said for the old fashioned way of doing things, but at the same time, if we ignore new technology, well, it's bound to march right past us. So if you're interested in learning more about either one of these products, I'm putting their information right down in the description. I did buy the Texas fence stretcher myself and I like it. The cat's claw fasteners, they were sent to me. I like them too, they're really nice and they're easy to install. Uh, I doubt if they're coming out of the fence post very easily and they will work great in a number of different applications, although there is still a time and a place for just a plain old staple. I'll ask you again to let me know if you like these type of product reviews. If you do, we'll keep doing them. And if you have an idea for a product to review or you have a new invention or your company makes a product that you think might help out the ranching or farming community, let us know. You can email us at mail at rwyomingwife.com. Thanks for coming along. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time on our Wyoming Life. Fencing is a never-ending project on anyone's ranch. Well, let me just start that over with, because it sounded weird when I said project. And today we take a look at a couple of new tools that both... It's all coming up today on our Wyoming Life. And I got a text message right in the middle of it. Hi, I'm Mike. Fencing is a never-ending project on any... It's all coming up on our Wyoming... Come on in.